Today, we'll give you an insight on the inside life of Sheikh Mansour, who owns Manchester City. When you have billions of dollars, you should probably put some of it into sports teams. Mansour and his Abu Dhabi United group paid a total of 210 million pounds to buy Manchester City in 2008. Since then, he's made it his mission to make sure the club's players are among the best in the world. On the other hand, the Sheikh is a smart businessman who doesn't waste his money for no reason. In fact, on the same day that City bought Gareth Barry from Aston Villa for 12 million pounds, he sold a position in Barclays that he'd bought a few months earlier and made a profit of 1.4 billion dollars. Mansour started a second Major League Soccer team in New York in 2013. He was able to get Frank Lampard and David Villa to play for the New York City FC. And now, as his City Football Group portfolio has grown, he owns parts of teams in the United States, Uruguay, India, Japan, Australia, Belgium, Spain, China, and France, among other places. On November 21st, 1970, Mansour was born in the Emirate of Abu Dhabi. He was the fifth son of the Emir of Abu Dhabi, Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayyan. Sheikh Fatima bint Mubarak Al Khatbi is his mother. He has five full brothers named President Muhammad, Hamdan, Haza, Tanun, and Abdullah. Sheikh Mubarak Al Khatbi is his father. They are called the Bani Fatima, which means Sons of Fatima in Arabic. Mansour went to Santa Barbara Community College for the first time in 1989. He majored in English in that year. In 1993, he got a bachelor's degree in international affairs from United Arab Emirates University. United Arab Emirates University is where he went to school. Sheikh Mansour is not shy about enjoying the finer things in life. His luxury yacht, Topaz, is estimated to be worth $527 million and is the seventh largest of its kind in the world. People know that Leonardo DiCaprio rented it for the 2014 FIFA World Cup, which was held in Brazil. Leonardo DiCaprio used to take vacations on a boat called Mansour's Topaz when he was younger. It was the fifth largest private yacht in the world at the time, and it cost almost $700 million. It seems that Manchester City FC's billionaire owner, who's also the Deputy Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates, wanted to keep the tradition going. The Sun says that his supposedly brand new yacht is the fourth largest in the world and cost him $509 million to buy. Blue, which is the name of another mega yacht, is thought to be in his possession as well. The name of the team makes it sound like it has something to do with Mansour's club, which won the Premier League. Also, the floating palace has amenities that are fit for a billionaire. It's now one of the top five largest super yachts in the world. It's 525 feet or 160 meters long, which makes it one of the top five. The Sun says that you can get an idea of how big it is by imagining that it can hold the club's whole 55,000 seat stadium. It shouldn't be a surprise that Blue was built at the famous shipyard Lursen in Bremen, Germany. This well-known brand made the world's largest superyacht, the Dilbar, which has a gross tonnage of 15,917 GT, and the world's longest superyacht, the Azam, which is 590.5 feet or 180 meters long. Now, the beautiful Blue is a member of this elite group. This yacht is a welcome addition because it can hold almost 50 people and has large decks for just having fun. It can go as fast as 19 knots and has not one but two places for helicopters to land. We don't know yet if Blue will also be a luxury charter super yacht or if the sports billionaire plans to keep this beauty all to himself. If that's the case, this information hasn't been proven yet. Sheikh Mansour puts a lot of money into Manchester City FC and the other clubs he owns by paying players and managers and improving their facilities. He's put tens or even hundreds of millions of dollars into the club. Mansour is a big fan of many different sports like horse racing and Formula One. In 2005, he spent $100 million to buy a 5% stake in Ferrari. This was a big reason why the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix was started. He also bought 9.1% of Daimler AG, the company that owns Mercedes, and a 32% stake in Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic, which is said to have cost him $280 million. In addition to his real estate holdings in a number of countries, he has a lot of gold, silver, and precious gems. Mansour also likes to collect cars. This is just one of his many interests and hobbies. Among the exotic cars in his collection are five Bugatti Virons, a Porsche 911 GT1, a Lamborghini Rimbaton, a Ferrari Enzo, and a Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren. 
He spent $40 million in 2016 to buy a huge hunting estate in Valencia in Spain. It's bigger than 8,000 football fields. The estate is in Valencia, which is a province in Spain. Mansour often goes to the hideaway when he's not living in the fancy palace that his family owns in the United Arab Emirates. He has plans for building a landing strip and a slaughterhouse on the estate. Both of these things would let him ship meat to Arab countries. Being a member of the royal family of Abu Dhabi gives you a lot of benefits, and having your own castle is one of them. The Al Nayan family, which includes Sheikh Mansour, owns a huge mansion in the city. The exclusive estate called Los Quintos de San Martin is close to the small, charming town of Valencia de los Torres. There have been rumors that Mansour and his family have stayed at the Emirates Palace, the hotel they own. It cost 2.2 million pounds to build and opened in 2005. It's been called the only real seven-star hotel in the world. Most of the gold and marble furniture in the hotel is in the 394 guest rooms, 92 suites, and 22 residential suites. People think that Mansour stays on the penthouse floor, which has six ruler suites that are only for dignitaries and can only be used by them. Parts of the movie Fast and Furious 7 were also filmed there, which is an interesting fact. Nice hotels, mansions, cars, and football are the only things that get Mansour excited, but they aren't the only things. He went to school at Santa Barbara College in California, which is in the United States. He now has investments in more than 50 businesses all over the world. One of his many business projects is his partnership with Richard Branson in the company Virgin Galactic, which sells spaceships to the public. He's also the chairman of the Emirates Horse Racing Authority, the chief executive officer of Sky News Arabia, and the patron of the Zayed Annual Half Marathon. Even though the Sheikh is known to be a private person, the son says that he has two wives and six kids. He got married to Sheikh Alia bint Mohammed bin Budi Al Hamed in the 1990s, and they had one son together. After that, Mansour married his second cousin once removed, Manal bint Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. They had two daughters and three sons together. She's a strong woman in her own right, and she's president of the Dubai Women Establishment. You should wait to decide if having almost $17 billion in your bank account is a good thing until you know how much he will get. It's thought that the Al Nayan family has a fortune between $560 billion and $600 billion. Having said that, he owes it to his five brothers to give them each an equal share of the inheritance. But you have to agree that with Mansour in charge, it looks like Man City has a bright future. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and comment down below with your thoughts, and don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.